Bizarre Brain Comics. What, me worry? Hello, my friends. Welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I am Gary, your host. <clears throat> and this time, I want to talk about superheroes. But not just regular, ordinary superheroes. These are the superheroes which have appeared in Mad Magazine with this book of Mad About Superheroes. See if I can get that glare off of there. That's better. Mad About Superheroes. And this book, Mad About Superheroes, is from uh, 2008 with this great cover painting by the great Alex Ross. Here you can see this book it is a hardback, hardback book, and it's and published by Mad Magazine, as it says here, and it's by the usual gang of super idiots. <laughs> yeah, and of course, in this cover painting, we have Alfred E. Newman as a superhero, along with Superman and Batman. And of course, Superman and Batman are play the biggest role in this in this book. And this is reprinting some, but not all, of the uh, the superhero humor and parodies that uh, EC Comics has produced. There's EC Mag uh, correction, Mad Magazine has has produced going back to the days when it was a mad comic from ec comics of course alex ross he is uh well known for his beautiful as you can see here fully fully painted primarily covers but interiors as well. And he got his start way back in the, was it late 80s, early 90s with, uh, uh, I can't even remember the name of the company, uh, who was uh, publishing um, Terminator way back when, and he did some beautiful work for them. And then eventually got out, did uh, uh, most notably um Marvel's, the Marvel's miniseries, uh, fully painted um, comic miniseries, um, uh, just uh, reiterating the origins and history of the Marvel comic universe, hitting some of the, the main points and main characters. And, of course, also did uh, Kingdom Come with Kurt B Busiak. Another great, great miniseries and graphic novel from DC Comics. He's done a lot of stuff for DC Comics. And, and you can, if you're familiar with his work, then you can clearly see that the, these are his his versions of Superman and Batman from from the stuff he did the uh, did a series of oversized um, tabloid sized books uh, about various heroes uh, heroes uh, Shazam uh, of course Superman Batman Wonder Woman and uh, uh, I guess one of, one of if not the most recent uh, work by him that was published as a uh, um, a very beautifully produced. Uh, fly, um, Fantastic Four graphic novel, which I've only seen in the stores and uh, and uh, reviews online on, on YouTube, and it's some beautiful artwork there. And I, from there, I guess he just did the pencils on that on that with uh, someone else doing the inks and colors, and that is not fully painted. It's done in a more traditional style, and more closely resembles uh, the Jack Kirby work, at least in in. Uh, in overall uh, um, um, spirit, might, might better be presented. Okay, now, 
let us take a look inside this book. It's got an an, uh, an introduction by Adam West, the late Adam West, the actor who portrayed Batman in the uh, uh, 1966 Batman TV series and live action movie. And it is lovingly reproduced here. There he is. There's Adam. And it starts right off with him. The, uh, the parody of that Batman TV series. Richard, the caped crusader. Batsman. And of course, with the, the, the marvelous, marvelous um, caricature work of Mort Drucker, who was able to do, do marvelous caricatures his, his entire career, this, uh, and be spot on with the likenesses. <laughs> but remember, Mort Drucker didn't always do this stuff. Back in the 50s, he was doing war comics for DC Comics. He did some really great stuff there, too. Who would have known that he would have been so good at, as a caricaturist? And again, spot on. Oh, he's got... And the... Uh, of course, the parody is spot on. Then Sergio Aragones. Ah. <clears throat> Love some of his work. And his little... Uh, this, his little marginals, like these things right here, are peppered throughout throughout the book and then of course the uh the again Mort Drucker doing the parody of the 78 Superman movie Super Duper Man oh, and again spot on just really wonderful wonderful work and these these parodies are are classic uh, sometimes parodies the parodies of movies and TV shows that they do are better than than the source material. Goes to the Bat Batman movie, <laughs> and but then we go way back to the the days of to the days of EC Comics when Mad was just another comic book, and of course Mad uh, uh, did comic book parodies a lot of they're starting with their own then spreading out to other stuff super duper man oh <laughs> this is classic has been reprinted so many times and here's one that's less known plastic sam a uh, a parody of a uh, plastic man plastic sam and it was um harvey kurtzman wrote it and so and it looks so much like harvey kurtzman i would have thought it Thought, would have thought he he uh, drew it, but no, this is drawn by Russ Heath. Russ Heath, yes, the Russ, the magnificent artist Russ Russ Heath, who did some of the uh, the uh, um, some of the best war comics. Uh, uh, long long time on Sergeant Rock for DC Comics and and uh, various other things, and on to more. Movie parodies, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, this this time, this one is not, if I can get to that page, this one is not by Mort Drucker, but it is, uh, but the style is somewhat similar to Mort Drucker. I can't remember this artist's name. I couldn't pronounce it anyway. And uh, again, uh, parody of the, the Turtles movie, more and more <laughs> Sergio Aragona's great stuff. Before we go into... This isn't a parody of of a movie. This is just a, a parody of superheroes, <laughs> it, just in general. But this artist is Joe Stanton, who is as well known in in uh, the superhero comics. Superhero high, uh, silly stuff. Uh, mad look at Superman. Here's got some. Um, oh, uh, uh, Don Martin. Another long time great. Um, creator for Mad Magazine. Here we go. X Men parody of just of, of the comic, and then we get in and the 
<laughs> real life superheroes at comic book conventions. Oh, uh, here we go, Super Duper Man 2, parodying that movie. Uh, oh, I can hear, I can throw Spock in there. And they did a lot of Star Trek parodies too, but not in here. But they're reprinted elsewhere. Oh, we'll get some more. Looney as the Bat. Just general stuff. Here we got uh, uh, Buttman Returns. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Because, well, I'm not going to talk about that, Buttman. There. <coughs> and then back again to the, the golden age of Mad with a parody of Wonder Woman. <laughs> this is drawn by Wally Wood. And of course, he does... Wally Wood, who's so good at, at the dramatic and uh, uh, science fiction and, and adventure stuff with especially the gorgeous, lovely ladies. But he is great at doing the humor as well. As he has proved so many times, because he does it here with Wonder Woman. And then right at, shortly after that, ah, boom, it's in the, their parody of Batman and Batboy and Reuben. Again, drawn by Wally Wood. And it is just, just so, some really, really nice stuff. Here we go, their parody of Superman 3. Uh, I don't think they did a Superman 4, because that one was such a, such a stinker. And this one was stinking enough. Oh, just some and some other just general uh, uh, superhero related stuff. Buttman and Robin <laughs> movie parody. Very brief, and then just more. This is Sergio. He was great, and he he did and he's done a lot of mainstream stuff as well. Uh, but humor, and, and of course, he is probably now best known for his um, Groove the Wanderer and just other general uh, um, superhero parodies and do some mashups. Oh, yes. And if superheroes needed extra money and and the like. Oh, more. And some really nice stuff here. This looks like, uh, oh, oh, George Woodridge. He did a good job of uh, imitating the, the style. Of, of the comics from the 60s. And then the X-Men movie parody. And then they, they really conclude with their version of Smallville. Smellville. And again with the great Mort Drucker caricatures. <laughs> and oh, the last thing, a modern day fairy tale. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> Get the turtles in there and st stuff like that. It's just a lot of fun if you happen to be a, a superhero fan and a Mad Magazine fan. It's just, and it, it is just a, a, a lovely addition to any comic book reader's library. <laughs> and the uh, and that is our overview of that. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you, and share it if with friends. If you uh, people who have friends who are big superhero fans, share this with them. If they're Mad Magazine fans, share this with them. And if there's someone who take their superheroes too seriously, definitely share it with them. So thank you so much, and remember, comics are art!